Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. Today we're going to look at the Surveyor 240 BHLE. Uh, exciting new uh, adjustments that they've made to this floor plan that I'm excited to show you today. But we're going to go ahead and get started up front. We do have the power tongue deck that does come standard with this. You have an LED light here shining down to help hook up if you're hooking up after dark. <clears throat> and then you have your extend and retract switch. Behind that is a dual 20 pound LP tank with hard case cover with your easy access lid here at the top. Those will be filled by the Outpost RV. You also notice down below is a battery shutoff switch. So if you're putting the unit in storage, you can disconnect the batteries so they don't drain. Right here is a nice uh, leash latch where you can hang your chains to and or uh, tie your pet to as well. Nice radius front end integrated window here in the front with your diamond plate rock guard at the bottom. You'll also notice all compartment doors have your magnets for your catches. So you just swing them up and it holds it into place very nice. Pass through storage in the front. You'll also see it does come with an adapter that is for your manual stabilizer jacks down below here. So that is a very nice feature. So if you have a cordless drill you can take along, you can zip those up and down real fast. Uh, this does have an enclosed underbelly, so it is a forest, uh, what they call extended seasons. So it is does have your heated and enclosed uh, tank area underneath. Nice large awning here on this one with an integrated LED light. Stable steps at the entry door, which is very nice. It does not rock the camper as you go in and out like your previous steps in the past. Uh, very easy to use. Basically, you open your entry door and you just lift this up and you lock it into place right here and then you close your entry door flip your uh, grab handle over it so very easy to set up and take down as we move on back we have your outside speakers here those do have your blue led lights in there amber porch light which is led as well and then we have your aluminum rims along with your radial tires i do have the center cap removed here so you can see it's an easy lube axle along with self-adjusting brakes. Outside kitchen, we do have a very unique kitchen here. Uh, basically you have your refrigerator and then this all collapses. So these two here slide in and then you can slide this in to close it up. So it pulls out, you pull your shelves out, you have a prep shelf on this side, your griddle here in the center. And then you have like a kitchen sink that's removable that you can take out and, and dump as well. Um, you have your sprayer port here for your water source. It does come with a handle with a bunch of different adjustments. So move around to the back. We have your roof ladder, which is standard with this. We have your travel rack as well. Um, and then this is the exciting feature that I'd like to point out that they changed is you have an access to the back. So travel rack you can flip down reinsert the pins so you could take your totes firewood bikes whatever you want to take along but here is really cool where you can open this up and um, if I can reach this here this here bunk pad flips all the way back that flips up so you can get kayaks or bicycles or whatever you'd like in there so very nice feature that they added there to the 240 we move around to this side, you do have your 30 amp connection here. It does come with a separate detachable cord, so it's not a cord you're pulling out and pushing back in. So that's a very nice feature. Uh, we have your dump station down below here. There's a gray handle and a black handle. The black handle being your black tank, which is your toilet. Gray handle is your like your kitchen sink, your shower. Uh, that would come out of there. Black tank flush, so after you dump, and you like to rinse out the black tank, you can connect your water hose to this and blast that out if you'd like. City water connection is here. So if you're at a campground, connect the water hose to that for your water supply. As we get to the front, I'll show you there's another port. If you go uh, off grid or some state parks don't have water hookup, you can fill your fresh water holding tank, turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply. Then you also have your cable satellite hookup here as well. As we move on up front, uh, this is this is your freshwater port. So if you're going off grid, you can fill your freshwater holding tank. And then you have a six gallon DSI water heater. Uh, DSI is standing for direct spark ignition. So you can um, 
it's all automatic so you have gas and electric so you can heat up with 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both and both of those switches I'll touch on on the inside of the camper and then this is your other uh, opposing side of your pass-through storage one other thing I want to point out on on the surveyor a lot of manufacturers tout that they have aluminum construction on their campers but surveyor is one of the few that do it actually correct because a lot of them just use aluminum framing around the outside and that's it they actually around every compartment window whatever opening it is they actually frame that in with aluminum as well so the structure of these is very a lot better than the competitors so with that we'll move to the inside Moving to the inside, there's also a light with a sur Surveyor logo here in behind there. So at the nighttime, you can, uh, it illuminates the step as you enter in. Um, we do have the neat Murphy bed here in the front. I'll show you, it's a couple positions, so I'll have to show you how that sets up. But underneath, you'll notice it does have your pull-out drawers. And you have your wardrobes on each side along with overhead cabinets, but we'll do a brief overview here before we get started just inside the entry door has your dinette and the slide your bathroom and bunks in the back and your kitchen right inside the entry door so we're going to go ahead and get started right inside the entry door you have a nice storage right here at the base of your kitchen cabinet nice large kitchen countertop which gives you Additional countertop space with your sink covers and your glass drop-in cooktop. So this is a um, farmhouse style sink. It is a single bowl. And you do have the two drawers here as well as your oven. And again, this glass drop-in cooktop gives you additional countertop space it's just a bifold cover that folds back out of the way and also serves as a splash guard and that is a three burner stove top above the kitchen is your microwave and your range hood that also is where your tv would mount you have the connections there on the side you have your refrigerator which is more like a residential ref style refrigerator it's 12 volt and it is a, I believe, a 10.4 cubic, so it is much larger than the 8 cubics they've used in the past. Nice large freezer. And then the bunks in the back. These are set up in the sleeping position. Like I pointed out to the outside, you can see this mat here does hinge. So that's what folds back out of the way, so you could flip the bottom bunk up which is on a gas strut so not a lot there's a lot of nice storage down below so when you get there and unload the bicycles you do have storage down below as well moving into the bathroom area this does have a nice large bathroom a nice leg room at the toilet your vanity on the vanity is your uh, also your Monitor panel, which checks the monitor uh, levels of your tanks. Uh, on the right-hand side there is your water pump switch. So if you go off-grid, you fill your fresh water tank. That's your water pump switch. And then on the left-hand side is your water heater. That's your gas side of the switch. And then the other switch you see is your electric side of the water heater. You have storage down below, uh, TP holder right there. Nice large sink medicine cabinet this is pretty cool here i want to show you how this opens up has storage on the inside as well as your toothbrush holder as there at the bottom have hooks on your wall there skylight and fan up above and this has a nice walk-in shower uh, it's more like a shower pan version so it does give you the elbow room you're looking for it has slide for your shower curtain which is very cool okay swinging back out we do have your pantry here on the outside so you do have a lot of nice storage from ceiling to floor and then your dinette 
This also gives you more sleeping room. If you need additional sleeping room, you can collapse the table down, slide the cushions together. Um, there also came out with a very cool uh, storage underneath the bench. Usually there's just a panel sitting there or a drawer at the bottom that is one way of doing it. But this here, they now have a gas strut that holds that open so you can utilize every inch of space underneath your dinette seat. I am going to um, redo the bed area here, uh, show you there's an additional jackknife sofa at the foot of the bed. This is very easy to uh, set up and I'll show you that, give me just okay, one second. Okay, so I'm gonna show you real quick how this works, but basically you just lift this up. There is a latch right here on this side that that snaps into and then your jackknife sofa you just pick this up set that in position and you're set up for the day so you have your uh, an additional seating through the day and then your bed at night you'll also notice there's usb ports electrical outlets on each side uh, this side has one drawer the other side has two and you have your wardrobes and your overhead cabinets at the top. Over here we have your control switches. So this is your interior, exterior light switches, your slide room and awning switch. Your stereo is on the bottom and then you have your solar controller at the top. So this does have an 80 watt solar panel up on the roof to charge your batteries as well. You can contact myself, Jeremy, or Henry at 866-338-9845 if you have any further questions. And again, thanks for watching.